it's time for me to do my yearly power steering fluid flush so I thought I'd show you my dead simple method for getting this job done nice and easily um, you don't need much not very technical at all um, all you need is well all I'm going to be using is a, a litre of power steering fluid you may need more if your fluids in really bad condition and old and burnt the one I'm using for my car is the CHF which is central hydraulic fluid your car may require ATF automatic transmission fluid which also doubles up as power steering fluid do check your owner's manual though because they're not interchangeable so uh, make sure you put the right one in and um, if you think you've got the wrong one in then just run through two or three litres of the correct one and, um, and get it back to the colour it should be all I'm going to be doing is emptying the reservoir just emptying this I'm not going to be disconnecting any pipe work no pipe work's going to be undone at all just emptying the reservoir, replacing what I take out, running the power steering lock to lock several times to mix it all up and then draining it and replacing it again and it will take about a litre and we should get it back to how it was before or how it should be. Um, to drain the reservoir you've got a choice really. Um, on, on this particular one I could actually unclip it and just lift it up and tip it out. Uh, or you can also use a turkey baster these cost about two pounds from a supermarket dead simple takes a little while though because um, they're not particularly big what you got there about 25 mil per time so it's going to take quite a few goes or you can siphon which is what I'm actually going to do today really quick method this to uh, to get the old fluid out so um, oh, and the other thing you'll need is two identical empty plastic bottles um, which makes it easy to see exactly what you've taken out and then you can replace um, with the exact correct quantity all you need to do beforehand is check the level I always check it when it's cold um, so all you do there is undo the cap this particular one has cold and hot markings on it so I'll just clean it off you've actually got a hot marking there just there and, uh, and a cold mark in there and that's what I'm going for because the engine's cold so I'll just put it back in now it's been cleaned take it out and there it is you can actually see it at the maximum level on the cold marking I don't know whether it will focus on that so I, I know that the levels correct in the first place so all I need to do is just make sure I replace exactly what I take out Okay, so that's what I've taken out. The bottom of the tape is actually exactly half a litre, so it's just taken out just a little bit more. So all I'm going to do now is measure up to that um, that line um, with fresh fluid in the other clean bottle. And I'll pour the freshly measured new fluid in. And I'll just replace the cap. And what I'm going to do now is flush it through the car. So all I've done here, don't even have to put the car on jack stands, I've just placed folded bin liners under both front wheels and what that does it reduces it stops the tires getting scrubbed because we're going to be doing lots of lock to lock changes so stops the tires getting scrubbed and it also reduces stress on the um, the power steering pump so I'll just start the car And 
just repeat the emptying again of the power steering reservoir. And measure out the same quantity. And replace with fresh. And I'm going to double check the level. Because for me, this is dumb. If your power steering fluid is in really bad condition, very dark, but very burnt, you may need to do this drain and fill four times. I've only needed to do it twice. And if you do it yearly, you should only need to do it a couple of times each year. So I'm at the right level on the cold fill. And you can see the drip on there. Lovely and clean and green. I'll drive the car around for a couple of days and if it's still green, that's me done for another year. That's how long it lasts. If you do four drain and fills, it will remove 90% of your old fluid. So you shouldn't need to do more than two litres, but maybe have three litres on standby just in case. And it's as simple as that. And I hope you find that useful. 